I'm Abraham Itikel for Metro Malayalam and Light Australia. Welcome to our talk show. വർഷങ്ങൾക്ക് മുമ്പേ വിദേശത്തൊക്കെ വളർന്ന ആളുകൾ നാട്ടിൽ വരുമ്പോൾ എനിക്ക് മലയാളം കുറച്ച് കുറച്ച് മാത്രം അറിയാം എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഒരു സ്റ്റൈലായിരുന്നു അതൊരു ഗമയായിരുന്നു രണ്ടായിരത്തി പതിമൂന്നിൽ മലയാളം ശ്രേഷ്ഠ ഭാഷയായി തിരഞ്ഞെടുക്കപ്പെട്ടു അത് സംഭവിച്ച ശേഷം മലയാളികളുടെ ലാംഗ്വേജിനോടുള്ള പെർസ്പെക്റ്റീവ് തന്നെ മാറി മലയാളം പഠിക്കണം അറിയണം എന്ന ഒരു ആഗ്രഹം മലയാളികളുടെ ഉള്ളിൽ ആ ഒരു പ്രസക്തി വന്നു അപ്പോൾ രണ്ട് വർഷം മുമ്പേ മലയാളി അല്ലാത്ത ഒരു വ്യക്തി ത മലയാളം പഠിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി തുരിഞ്ഞിറങ്ങുകയും തൻ്റെ കഠിന പരിശ്രമത്തിലൂടെ ഒരു പുതിയൊരു ലേണിംഗ് പ്ലാറ്റ്ഫോം തന്നെ സൃഷ്ടിച്ചു ഒരു ഫ്രീ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ലേണിംഗ് പ്ലാറ്റ്ഫോം ആ വ്യക്തി ഇപ്പോൾ ഇരുപതിനായിരം ഫോളോവേഴ്സ് ഉണ്ട് യൂട്യൂബിൽ അതേപോലെ ഇൻസ്റ്റാഗ്രാമിൽ മുപ്പതിനായിരം ആളുകൾ ആ വ്യക്തിയെ ഫോളോ ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് നമുക്കെല്ലാം അറിയാവുന്ന മലയാളം ടീച്ചിങ്ങിലെ ഒരു സെൻസേഷനായി മാറിയ എലിക്കുട്ടി ആ വ്യക്തിയുടെ ലേൺ മലയാളം വിത്ത് എലിക്കുട്ടി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഇപ്പോൾ ഒരു ട്രെൻഡ് സെറ്ററാണ് മലയാളം എഡ്യൂക്കേഷനിൽ ഞാൻ ഇന്ന് പരിചയപ്പെടുത്തുന്നത് എലൈസ കീറ്റൺ എന്ന ആ ട്രെൻഡ് സെറ്ററായ എലിക്കുട്ടിയാണ് എലിക്കുട്ടി വെൽക്കം ടു അവർ ഷോ Namaskaram, Nian Elkutti. Thank you so much for inviting me to have this short interview. Thank you so much, Manda. I'm very glad to be a part of a community that's trying to improve Malayalam literacy and education for this generation and the next one. So uh, I feel very strongly about making sure everyone has access to Malayalam and uh, you guys are putting a big effort in making sure that that vision is achieved for Malayalis and those interested in the language. Hi Elikuti, we all know that uh, you are a non-Malayali. Uh, how did you become interested in Malayalam learning? Where did you learn Malayalam from the Malayalam Pariqiyan? So it's simply a love of languages and then being introduced to people from Kerala and then meeting my husband. It all just became an interesting thing to me and I was even more challenged when I realized that there wasn't so many resources for it and I became very stubborn. I wanted to learn it. I wanted to help others learn it and that's why it's stuck with me. Malayali gal ellam English padikan valare adhigam thalpariyam edukkunavarana. So Elikutti my next question is uh, what do you think about the popular attitude of Malayalis uh, towards uh, learning English and uh, ignoring their own mother tongue Malayalam? So we live in a society where english is very much the language of the world and because of that we feel the pressure to learn english and to study english very hard i know i'm an english teacher but unfortunately sometimes we trade things off and a lot of people will wrongly assume that if you're focusing on English you can't focus on another language and that's really not true. In fact, children, infants, babies, they can respond to multiple languages. Uh one of my best friends, she's a Tamarati and her husband's a Malayali and their child is now understanding all three languages at just 2 years old and it's not that uh only specially smart or uh very talented children can do this. We just have to put it there and make it natural and expose them to it and we can learn more than one language we can participate in more than one culture so yes while we do feel that pressure and that push to learn english that doesn't mean that's the only thing we should focus on malayalathile bala aksharangalum ezhudanu vaaikkanakka valare prayasamana pratheech the first letter itself a adu ezhudan thanne valare buddhimuttana So Elikuti according to you when you were in the process of learning Malayalam uh, which letter did you find it the hardest to learn Malayalam has tricky letters and everyone of course always asks about R but uh actually R doesn't give me as much trouble as remembering the differences between na and na or la and r and ta 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 <laughs> It can be really confusing especially when these sounds don't exist in English or it doesn't change the word as much as it does. As we mentioned earlier, you have uh, 20k followers in YouTube and 30k in Insta, making you the uh, one of the most iconic Malayalam teachers 
internationally uh, who is present in our uh, in our social media and the media platform malayalikal uh, poduve mattullore angeerikkan athra petta naare angeerikkilla angeerikkanengil avar hridayathinodu cherthu vekkukeyum cheyum so what do you think about the phenomenal success and the acceptance that malayalis have given you uh, as well as to your to your, to your learn malayalam with elikutti teaching platform it's wonderful that my platform has gotten so much attention uh i didn't expect to get the audience that i've gotten and i'm really appreciative and while a majority are malayalis living in kerala that are just fascinated by someone like me speaking malayalam there is a huge amount of people that are actually trying to learn and are finding my resources effective and that's what i find most incredible is that i'm actually helping people and that's all i ever wanted to do is create something that's useful fun engaging and can be accessed by people all over the world. Malayalis are really proud of their language and proud of their culture. Uh but at the same time I think we need to do more to preserve that. If you look in Tamil spaces, you see so much about language and culture and kind of this huge push for like preservation of like being Tamil. And I think that Malayalis can do more for themselves. in in regards to practicing the language reading stories uh, talking about you know the history of kerala acknowledging these things that are important to malayali culture and like i said we can be global citizens and still be malayalis we can do both elikutti kids worldwide uh, love your language sheets yeah apol elikuttiyade a aksharangalil ninna oru aa oru animal ne undakkidukunnu for example jendu അപ്പോൾ ആ ജായിൽ നിന്ന് ഒരു ഒരു ജന്തു ഒരു പാമ്പിനെ വരച്ചെടുക്കുന്നുണ്ട് അപ്പം എലിക്കുട്ടിയുടെ ഈ ലാംഗ്വേജ് ഷീറ്റ് വളരെ പോപ്പുലർ ആണ് വേൾഡ് വൈഡ് അമങ് ദ കിഡ്സ് സോ ഹൗ ഡിഡ് യു കം അക്രോസ് ദിസ് യുണീക്ക് കോൺസെപ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ഡ്രോയിങ് ആനിമൽസ് ഓബ്ജെക്ട്സ് ഔട്ട് ഓഫ് ദിസ് ലെറ്റേഴ്സ് വിച്ച് മേക്സ് ഇറ്റ് വെരി അപ്പീലിംഗ് ഫോർ ദ കിഡ്സ് One of the reasons why I did the drawings and the character sheets to help with the letters is because I used to work with small children. I was in South Korea and I worked with KG through uh, grade 5. And for children to remember things that are new and different, you have to attach a story, you have to attach a song, you have to attach meaning. If you give them a symbol, it's just a symbol, but if you make it into something memorable, even adults, you know, it's easy for them to remember a sound if we can attach it to something else whether it's a flash card or a picture people learn in different ways some people learn by images some people learn by hearing some people learn by talking to other people or a combination of all these things so as i am an english teacher i try to keep that kind of english teaching pedagogy tactics in my malayalam curriculum as well what do you think is the biggest hurdle in malayalam language learning people will just jump in and say oh it's the most difficult indian language to learn or oh there's so many alphabets to learn or oh you know nobody speaks it nobody wants to so when you have your mindset like this it already makes it difficult to learn we have to approach it with an open growth mindset and instead of focusing on the problems instead work toward a solution so when i started learning malayalam and i realized there wasn't many resources instead of just saying I'm not going to learn it's it's just not going to happen there's not enough resources i decided that i should try to make some because i have that ability and i think if more ordinary people who know how to translate know how to write know how to draw would volunteer or contribute their services toward this i think it'll create a malayalam community that will ensure that the language gets passed on uh, how do you see the future of malayalam language learning i think that there is a big opportunity for the future of malayalam learning because of the internet we are now hyper connected since i first started my instagram page now there's at least 10 more malayalam learning pages and Once one starts, I think it starts this kind of fire and it just spreads. And I think that through YouTube, through Instagram, through other forms of social media, we're connecting teachers to graphic designers, to artists, to translators, to historians, and we're creating a network. And I think that more people will feel comfortable contributing to that and in essence create an, a capsule of of Malayalam that 
can be more accessible to everyone. Um, we've grown out of that previous generation that thought that we only had to focus on English. Now we're kind of having a cultural revival and the internet will help with that. What are your thoughts on creating a space for Malayalis for their cu becoming culturally literate? In that idea of creating a space, like, we need to make it not only online but in our day-to-day -day lives. We need to have books with Malayalam in the house, we need to have Malayalam shows on TV, we need to have discussions in Malayalam. Especially being in an area where you're in an English-dominated society, there has to be space at home for the mother tongue, for the mother culture. And when we expose our children to the language, we have to make sure that we're doing it in a way that's natural and fun. Making a child sit for an hour copying letters saying you need to learn this is not as effective as exposing the child through pictures and posters and small conversations and story time with acting and voices. These are the things that a child will associate positively with their language and I think that's very important. It has to come from the heart. To learn a language, you have to love a language. <laughs> Thank you so much for all these questions. I'm wishing you guys the best on your journey to help others with Malayalam literacy. And for those of you learning Malayalam, keep up. Keep up the good work. And don't give up. Reach out for help. Connect with others. Don't get discouraged. And don't let anyone ever shame you for not knowing or not speaking your mother tongue properly. You are a work in progress. Okay, we can't do everything overnight and it's not always easy. You'll have days where you feel like you're learning so much and doing so well and then you'll have some days where you can't even pronounce a word right. You can't even remember a basic thing and that's completely normal. So be gentle to yourself and make sure other people are gentle with you in this process. Thank you so much. Light has been privileged to associate with Elikuti and digitalize some of her very popular language sheets. Uh, thanks uh, for the opportunity to associate with you, Eric. And we wish you all the very best for your future endeavors. And in your journey uh, towards becoming the most popular Malayalam educator worldwide. Thank you.